My wife was a long time pet owner, always had cats, and I was actually afraid of them. But that soon got cured after we had our first cat, which was a rescue from the SPCA. And those cats lived to be 22 and 20, so we're very, very fortunate. And we've had cats ever since. Uh, we've had uh, medical trauma recently, and you know, there are days when you're not sure if you want to get out of bed. Without Dempsey, uh, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure what we would have done. So um, when people talk about mental health and, and those sorts of things, um, you can underestimate the value of pets. I've been involved with the SPCA since 2010, and I've seen what we have done with such um, um, a small facility. We have grown the organization such that right now we are probably close to the top, to the top uh, SPCA across Canada. We ensure that every animal that comes in to our facility prior to being adopted is vet checked, vaccinated, spayed and neutered. So the combination of all of that um, certainly helps us to ensure that our adoption rate uh, is very, very successful. While it served us well for the 30 odd years, we're in desperate need of a new facility and we can do so much more. Um, you know, we do um, help all SPCAs as best as we can across the province. Without the new facility, it's difficult um, to do that. Um, if a person believes in our causes and believe in the SPCA and what we do, um, you will see a return on our investment. Um, so I think it's extremely important um, that we work as a team to get the money that we need to build our new regional facility. And I ask everybody um, to donate. It is really important that we get that and we, uh, we get a uh, successful conclusion to our project.